Hi, I'm Bradley Sliedrak with Venter Cranes. I designed this course as a free online training program for in-house trainers to use when training their maintenance personnel in completing the frequent inspections required under CSA B167. It's also for me to use as part of my in-person training programs and it provides valuable knowledge for operators, managers and supervisors to better understand how cranes operate and the legal requirements of CSA, OHS and other standards for owners, maintenance staff and operators. I'll update this material as regulations change so it remains current. Uh, this channel is meant to be a reliable source for overhead crane training that you can freely use and rewatch anytime. I'll also continue adding more videos on overhead crane components, inspection and safety requirements in other playlists. So make sure to subscribe and to stay up to date. So let's summarize here what we've uh, learned in this training series. Uh, we discussed inspections uh, per CSA uh, B167 section 6.3, 6.4 and 6.5, right? The daily functional checks by operators, uh, frequent inspections by in-house competent staff and periodic inspections by qualified inspectors covering mechanical, electrical and structural components, right? I went into much more detail than, than uh, a normal course would concerning some of the items we discussed, right? Uh, as I said, this, this course is designed for maintenance staff to get a greater understanding of, of an overhead crane. Uh, my whole goal is to uh, increase safety in this field, right? And, and to uh, help uh, technicians and, and just general maintenance staff have a much better understanding of an overhead crane, right? Uh, since I've been in this industry, I've trained uh, 13, 14 apprentices now. Um, uh, training and, and continuation of technicians in our industry is, is something that needs to be maintained. But unfortunately, in today's uh, world, uh, we have less and less people in entering the industry. So I want to train the, the next generation as much as I possibly can, right? And, and I'll make good use of this channel to do that. So another thing we covered was wire rope and chain inspection, uh, the discard criteria for ropes, broken wires, uh, corrosion, bird caging, and diameter reduction. Uh, we covered off chain inspection steps and elongation limits for manual and powered hoists. Uh, we looked at hook safety, right? CSA and ASME criteria for hook removal, cracks, gouges, deformation, or throat opening increase. Uh, we looked at visual, dimensional, and advanced crack detection methods, right? Uh, we looked at the brakes, conical and disc brakes, how to measure air gaps and rotor displacement, brake adjustment and testing under load. Um, look out for more videos on brake adjustment and even load testing. Uh, as, as we proceed, I'll make some good videos to, to educate. Right? Um, we spoke about couplings, gears and drive components, common coupling failures, oil checks and gearbox inspections. Why some couplings are replaced on a schedule instead of, of, of uh, visually inspection, right? Uh, we looked at electrical and safety devices, upper and lower limits, travel stops, emergency devices. We looked at CSA grinding and collector shoe requirements for cranes with VFD systems. We also looked at bridge wheels, rails and accessories, wheel and rail uh, wear, alignment checks, drop stop and rail sweep requirements per CSA. Then we looked at slings and rigging gear, webbing slings inspection criteria terrier for abrasion cuts, heat or chemical damage, and label legibility, right? We looked at the safe removal uh, rules and best storage practices. Uh, we looked at maintenance and repairs per CSA 167 um, section 8, right? Uh, technician qualifications, trade certification, plus the minimum of 4,000 hours uh, for maintenance personnel. We looked at preventative maintenance programs, OEM spec parts, and CSA compliant welding. We also looked at commissioning and load testing per section 7. A new or modified cranes must be commissioned and load tested. We looked at structural deflection checks and, and also the 125% the load tests. We looked at record keeping and engineered overcapacity lifts. Uh, the last thing we looked at was operator qualifications and training per CSA section 9 of 167, right? So operator training, uh, st uh, the structure, right? Theory, hands-on, evaluation, and refresher cycles. Uh, and this course provides the theory component for maintenance staff and inspection support, right? But certification requires hands-on training 
and testing, right? Uh, if you want to complete that, uh, contact me and, and then I can provide certification. Um, some key takeaways here. The key lessons are simple but critical, right? So inspections catch issues before they cause incidents or accidents, right? Maintenance must follow CSA, OHS, and manufacturer instructions. And qualified people, operators, inspectors, and technicians are the foundation of crane safety. Uh, and then records matter, right? Logbooks, inspection reports, and load test documentation must be kept for the life of the crane. So safe crane operation is not optional. It is a law, and it protects people, property, and equipment. So here at Penta Cranes, we developed this course to support in-house trainers delivering CSA compliant training to their staff and also to use in my own in-person training programs. So this online series provides the theory portion of CSA B167 requirements, but to complete the process and receive a recognized certificate of completion, you must also complete the hands-on practical training and pass a written test. So you can do this with me. Um, my contact details are on this video stream, right? Um, all our training and information videos are available on our YouTube channel, Fentacranes. So subscribe to stay current and remember, uh, Fentacranes is your local DMAG, R&M and Kito service and parts center. So thanks for joining me through this series. Uh, it's been a, a pleasure teaching it and running you through uh, um, the CSA B167 requirements. Uh, once again, my name is Bradley Sliedrecht. I am the president of uh, Venter Cranes and I have also been a crane service technician and in the industry uh, since 1996. So I look forward to seeing you again in another training video. Take care.